Dr. Mukesh, uh, uh, since you represent the medical community here, uh, spending one decade here, I want to ask a very, 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 very important question, uh, which I think a medical professional will answer better and uh, uh, compared to a marketing professional for a company. Uh, we understand that your inclination and awareness about the utility of stem cells, the application of stem cells, is, is tremendous and it is it was visible in the last one hour uh, the question here is a lot of people ask that if this was so good number one if this was so good why did my gynecologist or obstetrician with whom i'm spending nine months did not really uh, made me aware uh, and part two of the same question is uh, if this is useful why is my doctor just giving me a very neutral uh, answer that uh, these are the leaflets, these are the companies, just go and speak to them and you take a call and not helping me to make a decision here. I know the answer because we, we've been on the field, but mujhe aap se ye hai and I want the audience to understand from the gynax or a obstetrician's end, uh, what would be your answer to questions on, on uh, to, to such questions? So let me, let me give you a doctor's perspective. So my background being, I have been in OBGY for last more than a decade and I have also been the president of the largest medical association in Mumbai with 16,000 consultants and I am presently the trustee of a gynec association also in Mumbai, association of fellow gynecologists. What I am trying to tell you here is this, that every human being has a human component and the human component is besides the high IQ that they have. So one component is IQ that they are very knowledgeable and very expert in the subject that they are. But the human component is that they do not want to push you into doing something which you're not very sure about uh, whether it will be of use to you or not. For the worry of you branding them as profiteering out of it. So that phobia of being unfortunately branded as you know uh, profiteering out of the whole process is one reason why they take a backseat, number one. Number two is this, that See, uh, there is there is a bias of action, you know, there is actually always a bias of action. Suppose there are two choices. One choice they don't do anything versus a choice that, okay, if you do that, there is something gain. And that these two choices are thrown across to an average population. Most often than not, the majority, uh, the larger chunk of uh, people would say, nee, do, jo chal rahe, chal rahe, I don't want to do anything different. So you don't want to change. Nobody likes change. Okay. But in, in the era of evolution, Unless there is incremental change by virtue of support of science, technology and data. Okay, if you do not change, you will perish. Now, there is a problem with a lot of these people because of the uh, A, because of their personal biases, B, because of lack of awareness, C, because of lack of understanding of the whole science, D, because it is not a perfect medicine is not a perfect science and not an absolute science. Even after so many years, still people doubt okay i am having an ischemic heart disease do i need to put a stent or not or probably the doctor is just asking me to put the stent should i put or not that question is still there even for obstetricians whenever a doctor says that you will require a c-section there is a question mark okay do i really need a c-section or doctor is just asking that question is still there whenever there are two options there is always going to be a doubt in the mind and that bias keeps the doctor on the back foot the doctor is feeling that, okay, if I tell something which is, uh, you know, uh, which is so costly, then the doc the patient will feel that the doctor is expensive. Or if I say something that you uh, need to do something which is, uh, you know, so cost intensive, I mean, there is some profiteering behind it. That's why they have been trying to push it. Now, all these psychological biases play in the mind when the doctor is speaking to the patient. And then they look at their priority. And that is called as a recent bias. What is the recent bias? You only think of, what is the we will cross the bridge when the river comes. But then, uh, I will also tell you another background of mine. So, I have done my strategy management from IM Calcutta. So, I, my mindset works like a strategy person. I was also a chess player and I used to represent my college for inter, intercollege chess tournament, university level. So, I would not look at one or two moves. I would look at what is the end game at the opening game. That if I do this opening, this will what will happen in the middle game. This is what happened in the end game, and that's the way we think. Okay, so I'm 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 wired that way, and hence for me it comes very easily that whatever may be of great use to the patient, not just today, but even at the later stage of life, we need to plan it now. 
Okay, so if you are smart enough to plan your retirement solution, to plan financial freedom, to plan your insurance for your family, to plan your, you know, uh, plan for a house and trip and vacation, everything right now, for even after two years, four years, five years, how can you be not smart enough to plan a backup system for your family, for a scientific breakthrough technology of stem cell therapy, which has been talking about any science fiction movie you pick up, they're talking about stem cell treatment. Or stem cell uh, research. So everybody knows that this is the future. It's as true as the uh, as the emergence of machine learning and deep learning and artificial intelligence in our day-to-day -day life. Okay. Now we are carrying a phone in our hand, which is so much amount of uh, technology and data, which we never dreamt of a few years back. But we have to start accepting this and realizing that not everybody is trained enough. Unless you ask these questions to your doctor, that why not? Okay, they will not be in a comfortable position of telling you it is so important. Last but not the least is that we doctors are so focused on taking care of your other issues that sometimes we do not, uh, many of the doctors may not have the time, efforts, inclination or intent to invest. And because of individual's bias, you cannot get into uh, you know, your decision making. So to summarize in one line, I always say that if we do not change with the changing times, we perish. If we change with the changing times, we survive. But if we bring about the change, we are leaders and we always are ahead of the herd and we do better. So we need to start thinking a little forward and start thinking what is best for our family and take decisions.